Hi friends. How often do you fail? Seth Godin says that the person who fails most often wins. And there's a great uh, kind of saying among startup folks, which is, which is fail fast, fail often, um, and, and fail forwards. <laughs> And it's really important, uh, and, and successful people recognize that it's really important to fail because through failure we learn. Have you heard of a book called Growth Mindset by um, Carol Dweck? She talks about, and this is from her research, she's a psychologist, she talks about mindset that people have, a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. People that have a growth mindset, they see failures as an opportunity to learn. And people who have a fixed that mindset, they see failure as a blemish on their personal reputation. Now, it's not always easy to, of course, it's not easy to fail. And it's not always easy to talk about it either. And when we fail, we feel ashamed and we feel like we should hide it. Um, but what's more powerful is to share that failure and use it for ourselves and for other people as a, as a, yeah, a, a, a point in a stepping stone, a milestone that points us in the right direction. So, um, I guess I'm just curious. What do you think about failure? Do you see it as something that is bad, something that's good, something that's neutral? But it depends what you do with it. Um, there is many things you can do with failure, and the most um, I think there's a well. There's another saying that goes, um, "Insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results." I think maybe Einstein said something like that. And what he meant is that if you don't succeed doing something, you try a different approach. You don't try the same approach again. And I guess that's something that failure teaches you. Um, almost every major invention has gone through many, many failures. Of course, the famous story, Thomas Edison, he knew what a light bulb looked like, what he wanted to make, but it took him more than a thousand different attempts to create a light bulb. Now, did he see those different attempts as failures? No, he just saw them as part of the process, the trials, to get to the result that he wanted. Maybe that's how we should look at our failures too. They're not, um, you know, for example, one of my failures was I, um, I started studying at university, um, two degrees, and I spent five and a half years at university. I only ended up getting one, and that's a failure. I, I it's wasted a lot of time. I failed lots of courses, and in the end, I didn't get exactly what I set out to do, but I got something out of it, and I learned a lot from that experience. And from that failure, it propels me forward and it drives me. And by sharing that with people, I can also, I guess, how people feel like, you know, failures aren't the end of the world. They're just part of our journey. Everyone fails at things. This, that's life. But if we can take those failures and be inspired by them, be motivated, be driven by them, and, and let them, yeah, let them help us learn and, and be also just accept them because nobody's perfect. So then, then, then they make us powerful. Um, yeah. So what do you think of failures and what was your biggest failure maybe <laughs> my biggest failure is um in my tedx talk so if you're interested you can google that <laughs> um but um yeah please share your thoughts um about failure and i'll see you tomorrow